Hey guys, get level here with a brand new animated Twitch overlay pack, and this one is called Element. Today I'm gonna be showing you everything that is included in the pack and uh, how the scenes will look once you have them installed. Now, if you are using Streamlabs OBS to stream, you will have a huge advantage because I will include a dot overlay file that will install everything that you see right here immediately to your computer all you have to do is go to settings go to scene collections and then click import overlay and find that dot overlay file okay so this is the starting soon as you can see you have this this animated uh, background and then you have the low bar i will show you how i added that there's a little transition that is not working really well right now because my computer is running obs plus streamlabs and everything uh, let's go to the game scene there we go. So game scene, you have your camera overlay, which is animated. There's a little space underneath it right here where you can put your name or your logo or whatever. You have the low bar. And then, of course, behind that, you will need to add your game capture or whatever you're using. Then we have a short break scene, which is kind of like the BRI back screen and a stream ending or a conclusion scene. Now, do not worry. All of this is customizable in the sense that you can add whatever text you want, whatever language you want anything can be added and I will show you how to do that. So I have the low bar on a separate scene right here. And uh, this is how I added it to all, all the other scenes. This is an image. Now, let me show you file by file, everything that will be included in this pack. Now, once you unzip the main file, because it's gonna come in a zip file, please Google how to unzip files if you don't know uh, how to do that. You will find three main folders. One is gonna say, one will say Streamlabs OBS import file. This is the .overlay file that we talked about earlier to import in one click, pretty much. Uh, you will have one folder that says animated. This is for everything that will be animated. And then one that will say static. Those are the PNG files. Those, every, those are everything that just don't move, basically, those images. So. In that animated folder, you will find an animated background. This is what you will use in order to add your own text. All you have to do is download the font that will be included in the product description. Please read the product description, not only from my products, but from any products that you're downloading online or, or in real life ever. So what software are you gonna use to add the text? Well, your broadcasting software, it allows you to add text. All you have to do is add source text, select the font, uh, that you downloaded and installed and then uh, put whatever words you want. We have the webcam overlay narrow, which is the one that we used in uh, in the example. Uh, the webcam overlay wide, this one is a 16 by nine. So if you wanna use the full 720 or 1080p of your webcam, you can do that. Of course, the, inter the intermission screen, uh, we have the scene conclusion, which is the ending screen, uh, the short break or be right back if you will, starting. Or starting soon and then we have a transition now within the animated folder you will find other folders such as alerts alerts is well what it says you can guess what it is it's uh it's alerts that you can add those do not come pre-installed with the dot overlay file so you will have to manually install them but again product description will have a link to a tutorial to how to do that okay so when it comes to alerts what do we have we have follower alert bits alert a blank alert if you have access to an editing software and you want to create your own uh, donation gifted sub host merch raid resub and subscriber just regular subscriber okay there's another folder in that animated folder called transition why because you cannot change the color of a transition within your broadcasting software yet uh, if there is well let me know but right now i decided to put seven extra colors for this transition we have green orange pink purple red white and yellow on top of the blue one so it would be weird if you if you didn't find something that matches your own style. Of course, why I'm why am I talking about changing color is because uh, I I showed again and again um, that with a simple filter you can actually shift this whole overlay to another color. So if blue is not your thing, I 100% understand. That's why I make my overlays mostly um, single colored so that if you want to shift the hue, you can have it completely different. Okay, whatever color it is that you want to use, um, you can make that happen. You can even play with the contrast, uh, make it a little bit more uh, edgy or whatever, more saturated, less saturated, black and white, that's fine. Super saturated, uh, don't go there, but <laughs> there you go. Um, you, can, you cannot do that technique with transitions. This is why I included so many transitions. All right, now let's check out the images, the static part. So we're gonna have an avatar template. So technically if you're using any 
image editing software, you can drag and drop this onto your current profile picture or whatever, and it will match the whole style. Um, you have a background that you can do whatever you want. If you want to remake the offline image or a banner from it, that's fine. You have uh, static versions of the camera overlays. If your computer cannot handle everything to be animated, that's fine. Uh, I did put a little um, overlay for chat if you want to add that to the starting soon screen and stuff like that. Uh, you don't have to, but it's there if ever you want to do it. An events list uh, overlay, uh, you have the intermission screen. Um, there is a labels bar for people who are affiliated. Why am I saying that? It's because um, that star represents subscribers. Uh, that little diamond thing is bits. And then you have uh, donators. Now, if you're not affiliate, first of all, if you're not even on Twitch, you have a blank one where you can put whatever you want. So whatever um, platform you're streaming on, if they have their own stuff, you can you know, add your own icons and still have labels. And this is for the non-affiliated uh, on Twitch because that heart represents a follow, dollar represents money and <laughs> donations. And then that crown is like top donator. Of course, you get an offline image included. And then I, I threw in a little bit of um, this uh, social media thing where you can add whatever you want. It's not very clear here because of the blank background, but you can see there's a little outline here. And of course, there's one that is uh, blank where you where you yourself can add whatever social media icons that you actually have. If you don't have YouTube or, or Twitter and Instagram and, or you have some weird obscure stuff, you can use this to add your own stuff this is the banner uh, that is included and that's what we have for the main files in the static folder okay and then within that folder we have another folder called panel where you get those amazing panels that are uh, matching the overlay pack obviously uh, there's also one that is blank if you want to add your own stuff same thing you downloaded the font you installed it open it and whatever even microsoft paint can do it just open that blank thing and then type whatever you want in there also tutorials will be in the product description so we have about artwork commands discord donate uh, facebook instagram merch patreon rules schedule snapchat social specs subscribe TikTok, Twitter, website, wishlist, YouTube. So if this is not enough or if you want anything special, you can always uh, modify your own. Um, when I say modify, obviously, I'm we're, we're going in the basis that you know how to do that. And if you don't look at my tutorials, OK, there are no project files. As you can see, I didn't show you any After Effects or Premiere or DaVinci or, or anything like that, because those those are not included. This is why I make sure to include backgrounds, because if you want to modify and add stuff and text, uh, this is the basis. This is what you're going to do um, to use that. Now, if you're using the dot overlay file, the last thing that I want to tell you is that um, make sure that you have a computer that is uh, good enough. If you're streaming on a laptop, obviously a fully animated overlay pack is going to mess up your CPU. I don't recommend it for people who are streaming from a laptop. OK, so make sure you have a decent computer uh, before even thinking of buying it. And if you still buy it, well, there are the static versions where you're going to have to swap out a bunch of stuff. This is also compatible with uh, OBS Studio. Obviously, as I showed you, it was only PNG images and then WebM and MP4 videos. So every broadcasting software that allows you to put videos and images, this pack will be absolutely compatible with it. OK, and I believe I said everything. <laughs> Once again, I cannot stress this enough. Please read the product description. And if you don't understand the product description, that's fine. I have a discord where you can join and ask questions about any of my overlay packs and uh, we can help you out. Hopefully you guys like this. I spent like almost a month working on it and also getting it to work. I had a couple of problems, but hopefully you guys enjoy it and um, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Of course, gumroad.com slash get level is where you need to find it. Other than that, go out there, make me proud, get level, Audi.